Good morning, and welcome to Christian Pentecostal Church's devotional moment. I'm Pastor Brenda Bird. Would you turn with me to Proverbs 30, verse 14, and we're going to go right into prayer. Father, we thank you this morning for your word, and I just pray, oh God, for your people. I pray that you would minister to, encourage, and uplift every heart, and that each one would be reminded they are unique and they are special in your sight. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Proverbs verse, uh, chapter 14, verse 30 reads, A heart at peace gives life to the body, but envy rots the bones. Mark 7, 21 to 22 says, For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, fornications, theft, murder, adultery, deeds of coveting and wickedness, as well as deceit, sensuality, envy, slander, pride and foolishness. This morning we're going to talk about envy and jealousy. The Bible tells us that jealousy rottens the bones. It makes one downcast, depressed, uh, sorrowful. And so uh, unfortunately, many in the church uh, envy uh, their brothers and sisters for whatever reason uh, maybe um, they're serving in uh, uh, a church together and one seems to be um, uh, noticed or have a certain type of personality where people are drawn to them more or whatever. We see this in families among children where maybe a parent may favor one child more than the other and that child that is less favored, of course, will show jealousy or envy. We see this in marriage and couple relationships where husbands and wives may uh, show more attention to another family member or friend and that spouse becomes envious or jealous. We see this in relationship with friendships. You know, I used to say all the time you see this among children, but now you see this more among adults where um, a, a person can be a friend with a child, that child can have a best friend and then another child move on the block or move next door and they befriend that child as well. And then the other child gets envious or jealous, not realizing and understanding that their friend can have two friends that they love and enjoy and adore. And I'm finding that even though we know that adults should know better and we know that when you know better, you do better, we see this a lot, and I see this a lot with people that I work with, counsel, minister to. Uh, you see that envy come up when a new fam, a new friend, or someone um, new in ministry come, and, and and they're there, and so you see this type of behavior. But where does this come from? And let me just make something clear here: no one is immune from it. No one is immune from it. So how do you deal with it as a uh, adult, as a minister, as a leader, as a servant, as a sister, brother, or friend? How do you deal with envy and jealousy when it tries to come up into your life? First of all, you acknowledge that it's there, and then the Lord can help with it. So what does it say about what is the root that the Bible says is jealousy and envy. It comes from low self-esteem, high neuroticism, which is used in psychology. High neuroticism means to feel dissatisfied about themselves or their life. Uh, feeling possessive of others. We talked about that with the children, feeling like, you know, they don't understand that they can have more than one friend that they love and adore. So they get jealous of the new friend. And we find this in adults as well. Fear of abandonment most likely is the key to this, uh, uh, is the motive behind jealousy and envy. The person uh, has felt abandoned in some kind of way or they have a fear or a high anxiety against abandonment. So what are the seven ways to free yourself from envy? One, put your focus on God's love for you. 
Understand that God loves you. Understand that the word tells us that we are uniquely made. There is not one other person in this world or ever will be in this world like you. God has created you unique and you have uh, uh, something to offer. He has a purpose and a plan for your life and it is a good one. There are two things underneath uh, our envy. Find out what it is. Find your identity in Christ. Very important. Know who you belong to and know who um, is leading and guiding and ordering your footsteps. Brothers and sisters, what God has for you is for you. And no one and nothing can deter that because God is not like man. God blesses you and he gives you. And the Bible says that God does not repent of the gifts that he gives to his children. So if God has given you a gift or God has called you to a specific ministry or a specific church or a specific service, that space that God has called you to, he has cut out especially for you because you are unique in his eyes. Three, worship helps you to overcome envy. Learn how to get into worship before the Lord. You know, I love to praise, but I love worship even more because worship empties out the heaviness of your heart. Worship empty, empties out all those insecurities and all those things that may come up in your heart or rejection or anxiety or in this case, envy or jealousy. The Holy Spirit will cleanse you and wash you and, 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 and bring all of that ugly gulk up out of your heart. The Bible tells us that if we hold bitterness in our heart, God will not hear our prayer. And I don't know about you, but I need God to hear every prayer that I bring before his altar as well as answer them. Four says, know that you are uniquely made. Psalms 139 says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made and this my soul knows very well. Did your soul know very well that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God made you who you are, the color you are, the, 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 the uh, sex you are, the uh, height you are. God made you unique and he made you for himself. Five, gratefulness drives out envy. Learn to have a grateful heart. Thank God for those that he has blessed you with to serve with. Thank God for your children. Thank God for your friends. Thank God for your brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank God for the people on your job. Have a grateful, grateful heart. Hallelujah. That drives out envy as well. Celebrate the blessings of others. Oh my goodness. That is a big one. Because many times people will say, oh, praise the Lord, I'm so happy for you. And really, they are really not. It's one of those things where the Lord says that many times we come to him and we praise him with our lips, but our heart is far from him. And sometimes people will say, oh, I'm so happy for you and be blessed and all of this. And really, they really don't mean it. And so the Lord says the best thing to do when you're opening your mouth and you're saying things that you really don't mean, don't say them. Because then that makes you a liar and a deceiver. And that is not what God wants from any of us. Celebrate the blessings of others. When you see someone being blessed, be grateful to God that God is blessing them. Because God said he has no respect to a person. And if he do it for them, he will do it for you. He loves you. He loves me. Seven giving to others frees you from envy it, it amazes me how stingy folk always look for someone to bless them and to give them but they will not bless anyone or they don't want to give to anyone that is not God's way he says open your hand he said cast your bread upon the water and not many days from now it will come back to you if you want to be blessed then you must be a blessing. If you want God to bless you and give to you, God said men will give to you out of their bosom. If you want God to bless and to give you, you must bless and give them. Many times we we, we celebrate and we, we give uh, uh, 
praises and we say all kind of nice things about people, yet we don't bless them with anything, but we expect them to, to bless us. That is not the right way and that is not God's way. He wants us, he blessed us to be a blessing. He has blessed us to be a blessing. So I just want to encourage your heart this morning to be a blessing to someone. And, and when you say, uh, God bless you, mean it from the very depth of your heart. When you say that I'm happy that God is using you and blessing you, mean it from the very depths of your heart. I want to close with this verse. One of uh, the verses about jealousy is, love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud. May the Lord bless you, and may he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Father, I pray for every listening heart today and anyone that is struggling with envy or jealousy, oh God, or feeling uh, uh, neglected or rejected in any kind of way. I pray for healing in their hearts and minds and spirit that they would know, oh God, that you don't make junk. And they are unique, they are loved by you, and that you have a purpose and a plan for each and every one of our lives. Help us to keep our eyes focused on you and not the things that are around us because they are only a distraction. I give you praise and honor and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Bless you. Have a wonderful day.